Stay tuned to find out how you can win a mystery box curated by your girl. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra, and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. Today, we're actually going to do a little makeup challenge. I actually kind of came up with this idea, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do half my face with the makeup that I love, and then half my face with the makeup that I'm like, mm mm. Let's go ahead and start this off with the primer. My favorite primer that I have right now in my possession is the Grown Alchemist. I actually really like this primer. It's like a gel kind of texture. This is what it looks like. I really like it. It's cooling and it just goes into the skin really beautifully and it doesn't leave like a ghostly cast over my skin. Whenever I have her on, my makeup stays really well. I'm trying to stay on one side of the face. This is going to be uh, challenging. So we're halfway primed. <laughs> the next product for this side, the reason why I don't like this one is because it's just I mean, my makeup really didn't hold well when I had it on. It just wasn't that great, okay? The She Glam really didn't hold my makeup that well. Made me a little ghostly. Now, granted, I'm not gonna put as much as I did last time. Hopefully that will make it less. Oh, Sue, I put too much again. Maybe it's a me problem. This might be a wonderful primer and I'm just really bad at using her. You can already tell a difference. My forehead hurts so bad, like right here, and I don't know why. I definitely stay Stab myself with the uh, little faucet head because it's like squared off. I definitely stab myself right here, but for some reason I have pain right here. I don't quite understand it. Oh, it's to make my hair a little white. Ooh. I think that's as good as that's gonna get as far as like rubbing in the primer of clear difference. <laughs> as far as foundations go, my favorite has to be my Fenty, okay? This is my tried and true, the pro filter. She's that girl, period, poo, all day, every day. I absolutely love, love, love my Rihanna Fenty, okay? She that girl. She always just makes me look really good. It's matte finish, so y'all know I love me a matte finish. I just, I don't particularly like dewy set skin. It's just, it's not for me. It's for other people. People. It's just not for me. Try to blend this down half my face. This already looks so crazy. I mean, it's not gonna be exact. And at the end, you guys can tell me which side you like best. The makeup that I love the most or the makeup that I'm like, ugh. And the makeup that I don't like, I'm gonna try to make it work as best I can. Like, I don't wanna look bad. So I will try to make it work. You'll probably see why I like what I like and I don't like what I don't like. And now for the foundation that I I don't like, okay? And this has nothing to do with the brand. It has nothing to do with the formulation. It's just a personal, personal preference. I do not like Dewy Set and the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin is a more hydrating, dewy kind of foundation. Particularly not my favorite. I just, I don't know. She's not that girl for me, but she is a beautiful foundation. Don't get me wrong. She's beautiful. And <laughs> you can tell there's a completely different, completely different color. Why does my lips look ashy? Is that foundation? Clear difference. Next is concealer. My most favorite concealer that I have right now is actually my She Glam because she's the right color and the finish is really good. And I just, I like her. Every time I use her, my face looks just so good and snatched. This is so weird putting it on like half my face. How's this gonna work on my nose? It's so weird. I guess I'll do like the concealer and the contour at the same time. Y'all probably already know my pink lips, okay? I love her. She's absolutely stunning and I got a lot left. So love me some pink lips. My least favorite concealer has to be the ColourPop. The finish is fine. I just think I got the wrong color. You know, you see it's like kind of orangey. It's a little too warm. It doesn't give me the brightening effects that I really like. I don't think there's any issue with the formula necessarily. It's just not the right color. And my least favorite uh, contour is actually the ColourPop one as well. It's just, it, I might've got the wrong color. It's just kind of difficult to work with as well. Even when I put it on really light, it just ends up smudging and being very difficult to blend out. I'm gonna blend this side first and then I'm gonna blend this side and then we'll see what we're working with. It's gonna be weird, let me see. You see how that just like brightened up my eye? I think it looks good. I'm just a little afraid to do the nose. How do I only get the part that I wanna get? I think that's as good as that's gonna get. Now for this side of the face, which this will probably be a little bit easier. 
You see what I mean? <laughs> and I put on like a little bit. I just, I really think that like the contour is just very difficult to do with their formula. I don't know. It's like you got to put like a singular dot for it to work. Cause that just like went everywhere I didn't want it to go. To be fair, I'm going to put a little bit more of this right here. Cause the contour went all over my dang blasted forehead, which is not the look. Okay. That's a little better. It looks completely different on either side. Next powder. My favorite powder is Laura Mercier. Ain't nobody eating after Laura Mercier when it comes to powder, okay? See how beautifully she just goes into the skin? Beautiful formula. Next, for my least favorite, I hate to put them on blast like this, but it's the She Glam. The She Glam just, I mean, she's okay. She wasn't eating like my Lunar Beauty or my Laura Mercier. She's nice, but she's not as nice, okay? She's not as nice. I mean, neither side looks bad. Even with the makeup that I don't like, th it's still pretty good. I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me which side you prefer, this side or this side. To celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm hosting a special giveaway exclusively for the Fae Bays. Fill out the entry form located in the description below and leave a comment on any of my videos between now and April 4th for your chance to win a mystery box curated by your girl. Two winners will be chosen at random. Remember, only one submission per subscriber. Now back to the video. Next has to be bronzer. So far, my favorite bronzer has been the Vizart. I really like this Vizart. It's really nice. The packaging is just so luxe and beautiful, but she's also a really good formula. I like her color. I'm gonna go ahead and just dip into my Vizart. Unfortunately, my least favorite bronzer has to be the She Glam. This one, it was hard to pick like one that was my least favorite. All of them are pretty good. This is this one. It's more difficult to work with, I guess. My least favorite and most favorite blush are both from She Glam. My most favorite blush that I've tried so far was this really peachy kind of sunsetty. I think it is so freaking pretty. And I didn't take into account palettes. I didn't include like the blusher palette that I got from Beauty Bakery. Okay, I didn't count that one, even though it has a blush in there that I really, really like. It's peachy and it's a little bit pinky as well. It's got like the best of both worlds, peachy pinky. And then my least favorite is also She Glam and it is this one. And it's just this color. I don't know. I just don't think this is my color. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. I just don't think she's she's my color. Y'all, my tried and true, I don't think I've ever mentioned what brand this was, but this is actually Wet n Wild. I love this eyebrow pencil. She's just so perfect. Now I need to bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, let's get acquainted, a little closer. I love this one, as you could tell. I mean, she used to be much longer than this, but I've used her so much that she gone. I'm just like the perfect color. And just super easy to use. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Love her. Tried and true. Definitely gonna re-up on this once she's gone. I'm gonna work her all the way down to the end. My least favorite eyebrow product was the She Glam because this was just horrendous to work with. I literally had to fix my eyebrows with concealer. It just, it just turned out so bad. Could this be a me problem? Absolutely. Absolutely this could be a me problem. But I feel like this bristle is just too big for eyebrows. I hate using this. It gives me anxiety. I'm not a fan. And I feel like if I keep drawing on it with this, it's going to be the same issue that I had last time. It's what this side is looking like. And this is what this side is looking like. I don't think either side looks bad, so to speak. Now for highlighter, my favorite highlighter, if we take out the blush lighter palette, okay? We take the blush lighter palette out of the equation. My my favorite is by Estate, and this one is Sonic. I got it in the Ice Cream Beauty, and ever since I used it, I was just like, oh my God, this highlighter is gorgeous. A close second was the Persona, because that one is beautiful as well. That's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I, I just hate that most of my least favorites are coming from this one. It's just, it just is what it is. Uh, my least favorite has to be the She Glam. It really wasn't memorable. Again, it's not bad. The highlighters, I really didn't have 
too many issues with highlighters, even though it's not my favorite, it's not bad. So the only thing that I've used so far that I'm just like, I absolutely hate, do not want to reach for her ever, probably this. Th these are the two that I'm just like, ugh, from what we've tried so far. The eyeshadow palette that I like the most, I'm gonna have to say it's my Ace Beauté, okay? She is absolutely stunning. Working with the colors was like super easy. It's the color story. Very beautiful. You can do so many looks with this. Like you can literally do everything with this. The formula is formulated. I just, I didn't have any issues with blending. Like she blends like a dream. I've received so many really good palettes. So this was a close one. This was the one that I sat the most trying to figure out which one I like the best. I know I wanna play with this color right here. This color was so beautiful when I tried her out. I'm gonna go into hazelnut and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. See how beautiful that is? I haven't even done much and she's pretty much blended out. I'm going to go ahead and use my little finger and I'm gonna dip into Mirage. Just beautiful and just soft and buttery and just perfect. On. It even goes on nicely with a brush. Like, let's be serial right here. Next, to deepen up, I'm gonna use Acorn. I'm gonna use that to kind of deepen. Oh, I grabbed the wrong brush. I'm gonna just place it with this one and then use the correct brush. I'm actually going to go back into hazelnut and I'm gonna diffuse that a little bit more. Honestly, I probably didn't even need to dip into hazelnut again. Well, my glasses off, I think it's pretty. <laughs> Maybe a whole nother story when I'm, you know, put my glasses on. I'm gonna dip back into acorn and I'm just gonna sweep that underneath the eye. Now for the palette I don't like. And this one I actually don't like. Very difficult to work with. Blended like, I, I shouldn't even say blend because it really didn't blend. Colors didn't want to show up. This was probably the worst palette I've ever used in my entire life. It is unfortunately this 90s glam by Belle Pierre. Terrible palette. I love the face palette, okay? The face palette right here is beautiful. This is a hot mess. This is an absolute hot garbage mess. I'm actually gonna try to do something similar so it's not too stark of a difference. I'm gonna go into this shade right here for my transition. That didn't go down as bad as I thought it was going to. That laid actually pretty nicely, it blended well. So maybe it's just the shadows I played with were really bad. I'm gonna go into this shade right here cause it's kind of similar to what I have on the other side of my face. You see the problem? You know, you, you rub into it, it doesn't show up. Where is the pigment? It's literally not there. And usually when you use your finger, the colors show up. Since that didn't work, I'm gonna try to use the brush, see if maybe the brush will get it. I highly doubt it. I'm gonna really dig in there and try to get some, some pigment on that brush. I'm getting a little something, but I literally have to go like this into it to get like that little bit of color. You see it is just patchy. It's just absolutely horrendous. I hate the shimmers in this palette. It, it shouldn't even be allowed to call itself a eyeshadow palette because we're where the eyeshadows at, okay? The eye is not shadow. I'm gonna deepen it up with the bronzer because it's the darkest matte that's on here. I'm gonna sweep that bronzer underneath my eye like I did the other side as well. Is it hideous? I don't think it's hideous, but is it the best? No, absolutely not. Just not that girl, I'm sorry. Now, eyeliners. My favorite eyeliner that I've tried is my girl Pat McGrath, okay? Goes on absolutely beautifully. Like, look at that. Just absolutely stunning. 10 out of 10. Love this eyeliner. My least favorite eyeliner, I actually tried to use her the other day and she was just so bad. <laughs> Way worse than the ZC is this dang blasted She Glam white eyeliner. It is absolutely terrible. It doesn't give you the pigmentation that you're that you're wanting. Even when I used the ZC, it was more pigmented than this. Like I'm pressing really hard to try to get that white color to show up. That actually looks a lot better than it did the other day. Still not my favorite. Very difficult to work with. You have to literally press 
so hard to get it to look this white. I like it where I barely got to do anything. Like when I did the pat, it just like, whew, didn't have to put much pressure. The color was there, just glided right over my eyes. Now this part, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I guess I'm gonna just like kind of hide my face to see if I can only spray half my face. This is the Milk Cosmetics. I really love this. It was between this and my NYX. Okay, this and my NYX, but I actually really like this one a lot. I'm not gonna go overboard with the, the spray because I'm not trying to get that piece of paper wet because we need that so that we can transition baby girl's bed to a big girl bed when it's time. And then my least favorite, again, by She Glam. I don't reach for her. I'm gonna be honest, I don't reach for her. When I open my little pouch that has all my setting sprays in it, I have yet to pick this one up since the try on, so. Oh, that's another thing. She doesn't spray out like, far enough. So like, it's very difficult to see if you're even getting it on your skin. The spray is just not that good on this one. How we looking so far? I'm sure you guys already have decided like which ones are your favorites, like your personal favorites. As far as mascara goes, my favorite was between two, the Illuminati one and the MAC Magic Extension. Obviously I went with the Magic Extension, but the Illuminati was a very close second because that one does the same thing. You get really good length and this is still the first like the first code once i run out i'm going to ulta i'm going to ulta or sephora whoever will have it and i'm ordering some more because i actually really really like this for my least favorite is actually gonna be the wet and wild max impact no this wasn't wet and wild this is she this is again she glam okay the she glam one i remember when i used her i really didn't get much of a difference in my eyelashes it's just it really wasn't that great and then the way it's shaped is so weird. I just, I don't like it. I mean, it's working better than it did the first time I tried her, but still not that great. Like y'all see the difference. I know you guys see the difference. I'm just not a fan. I don't like working with this one. This one just gives me more drama. It gave me a little bit of length, but you really still can barely see them. And I already have really thin eyelashes. So I need that extra help. Moving on to the lips. My tried and true has to be my Mac in cork. Y'all know I use it every single time. <laughs> just beautiful. Goes beautifully with my skin tone. Now for my least favorite, I just hate the color. The color is just so hideous. And that's why I chose it is this one. And this is the Coral by B. Bella. I don't like the color of this. Not only that, she's difficult to work with. Like I'm digging into my skin right now. Half and half. Now for my favorite lippy. And honestly, I really love the way it looked when I put it on. There was a lot of different lippies that I could choose from. And I like a lot of my lip products that I have. This is the one that really stood out to me. Like when I thought, mm, what was my favorite? This is the one that came to mind. And this is the go-to lip gloss in the color GLGO3. This one was absolutely stunning when I put it on. I just, I loved it. And it smells really good. I just think it's so pretty. And now for the one that I hate the most. And what's crazy is I haven't even tried this before, but just seeing it on my hand and then how clumpy it is. This dang blasted Gerard Cosmetics in the color Just Peachy. It's just gross. Like, look at that. It's so clumpy and disgusting. And I just feel like this color is gonna be hideous. And it is. Yeah, that's ugly. It's like going over onto the good side. Oh my God. I got it all on the other side. Let me see if I can kind of fix that. If you're alarmed that this side is bigger than the other side, that's because I busted my lip when I was a child. I literally had to get stitches. And this side of my mouth just has been much bigger than the other side for the longest. This is the final look. It looks crazy. I mean, this side doesn't look terrible until get to the lips. Like once you get to the lips, it's like, Ugh, what the hell is going on there? This is a sleigh. This is just okay. The lips are terrible. I hate the lips with all my heart. The eyebrows weren't as bad as last time. I think my technique is getting better, but it still was very difficult to get any pigmentation onto my eyebrows. Now the eyeshadow, I mean, the final look is okay, but very difficult to work with yet again. This side, everything went on like a dream. Everything looks beautiful and blessed. Ended and just chefs, 
chef's kiss. This side, not so much. Let me know in the comment section which side you like the best. You like my best side or my worst side? <laughs> and I won't chew y'all out if you choose this side over this side. I'm not gonna hate on y'all. I won't, you know, judge you. I might judge you on the inside, but I won't judge you on the outside. This is the final look, best versus worst. Y'all let me know which side you like the best. If you like this content, you already, wait, let me take this off. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.